What's going on guys? This is Riggs and thank you so much for tuning in to the very next PUBG Mobile video. Now, we are one day, from when I'm recording this, we are exactly one day away from the brand new season. And it's not season 20. It's actually cycle one, season one. We're starting all over again, fam. We got the 1.5 Mission Ignition update uh, that just dropped. A lot of exciting things going on in the game. So since we have a brand new season starting, what better time than now to bring on, by far, one of the most impressive players that we have had on the channel? Uh, let me go ahead. Let me go ahead and pull this up for you guys. All right, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to rank. All right, we're gonna drop down. Check this out. The number one ranked player in duos, CT King. Um, this is the dude that we are going to be checking out. That we're going to be featuring here today. I'm so excited, and it's jam packed full of tips and tricks to help you guys. That's what it's all about. Kind of building the bridge between pro players, um, you know, or you know, some of the best rankers. I know some of you guys get triggered over that word pro, um, but you know, wh whether the, the, the pro players, whether they're the greatest rankers in the game, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we have like the noobs kind of building a bridge, you know, kind of, you know, closing the gap between the two. So that's what we're going to be featuring. I really hope that you guys all enjoy the gameplay. I'm going to go ahead and take down my face only because I don't want to take away from the gameplay. Uh, I'm going to be spectating CT King and we're going to find out how he was able to manage getting number one ranked player in duos. But whether you're a solo player, whether you are a duo player, whether you are a squad player, all of these tips and tricks will be will apply to you and they will help you in the brand new season or cycle if you will cycle one season one and we're gonna start off big shout outs to jamaica by the way um jamaica right uh, united states is number one as far as my viewers jamaica is ranked number two as far as you know my largest following so shout out to everybody from jamaica love you guys to death um okay so here we go. We're gonna talk about right here. So the first, uh, the first question I asked him, uh, or first, uh, he's gonna give a little introduction. Uh, he says his name is CT King. He says that name will never change, even if my clan dies out. I'm from Jamaica, born and raised. Represent. Uh, started playing PUBG in season six on a Samsung Galaxy J4. Rip that device. Um, it was a trash device that lagged and crashed the game, but I made Conquer on it. In season nine, I bought a new device, the iPad Mini 5, that I'm currently playing on and have been pushing rank ever since. Ended season 16 and 17 at Double Conquer for both squad and duo. So a lot of experience underneath his belt, you guys. Uh, he plays four finger claw with no gyro, okay? But he does have some tricks, uh, tips and tricks for, for phone players specifically. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. Uh, then I asked him um, what his favorite map is to rank on and why. He says, my favorite map for fun, like solo and duo squatting, is Miramar. But for ranking, I have to go with the Wrangle simply because it's the quickest wait time for duo matches. That is true. And that's one thing I saw this season um, when I was ranking in solos, eventually you get to a point where you literally, unless you sit there for five plus minutes, you cannot get a match. Um, once you're crown one, uh, ace, you know, a conquer and so on, you cannot get matches other than a wrangle. So you gotta learn to love the map, right? Um, and the possibility of getting easy kills off new players are a bit higher than other maps. This is great. I love. I love how honest CT King is. He is being 100% real when he says that. And I've talked about this in other videos as well. When you're talking about the default map is a wrangle. Typically players that play Miramar or play Sauna or when, you know, when Vikindi was here, RIP Vikindi. Uh, when you're playing on these other maps, often you'll find players that specialize in those maps and that's all they're going to play. They know them better than anyone. But a wrangle, you can sometimes, in fact, get easier matches solely based on the fact that it's the default map. So anyway, I love the honesty uh, in, the, in this response right here from CT King. Um, then I went ahead and I asked him as we're moving along here. I said, um, "Kills? do you think kills or placement is better? How do you maximize points in every game? 
Uh, he says, my tips for someone trying to rank. He says, number one, develop your game sense first. Number two, map familiarity, a uh, familiarity like we just talked about. He says, learn slash study the ins and outs of the maps you love. Number three, if you are ranking duels or squads, you need good synergy between you and your team slash teammates. Best way to develop this is to play a lot together and to work on communication. Tip number four, learn to be calm in panic situations. As you're gonna, you're gonna see tons of those in this gameplay. Um, we're talking 200 IQ plays all over the place. Tip number five, never give up. That's something I always say, right, in my videos. Hashtag never give up. Um, that's almost like a life thing, you know? Uh, okay, next one. I asked him what is, oh, and, and the play style he prefers. He says that he prefers uh, to get more kills. I try to get as much kills early game and take it as easy going into the first zone. Um, that's what I find works best for me and my teammates. Um, kills right at the start and placement mid game and beyond. So tries to get those kills, like if he's dropping hot, as you guys saw in this match, he went ahead and dropped uh, school, like school apartments, grab the kills, play a little safer, and then once you're in the top 20, to go ahead and, and uh, you know, basically once you're in the top 10, that's when you can start playing a little more aggressive. Then I went ahead and asked him, of course, like I asked him, what is his favorite, uh, favorite food, right? He says his favorite food is cereal. Oh, I, I, wish, I wish he said what kind of cereal. Uh, maybe he'll say in the comment section and I'll pin it. Um, he says his favorite food is cereal, a rank pusher's quickest meal. Absolutely love that. Now, this is the part that you guys always enjoy the most, uh, of course, and this is uh, tips for someone who want, uh, or, or, or here's the exact question I said. What are five tips you would give someone who wants to get better at the game? Uh, and he goes ahead and says, uh, tips for someone who wants to get better at the game. Tip number one, invest in a good pair of headphones. Um, sound play or audio is very important in the game. Having a good headphone will allow you to hear footsteps more clear and give you the benefit of deciphering footsteps of enemies on different floors in a building. Again, which we saw a ton in uh, his drop when he went ahead and landed in school, uh, in school apartments. That's a great example right there. Tip number two, practice. As simple as it sounds, you need to practice. Um, let the training grounds be your best friend. It's important to practice so you can fine tune your sensitivity and control settings, which will no doubt improve your gameplay. Tip number three, consider using gyro or at least a claw layout. Most claw players don't need gyro due to them playing an iPad, which has the big screen, but thumb players, it's important to learn gyro because it will 10 times make you a better player. I tried using gyro on my iPad and I really didn't see the need for it because I use four finger claw and don't feel like I was lacking close range or long range, so I reverted back um, to ADS only, no gyro. Uh, tip number four, play solo, play solo duo and solo squad. Each mode will teach you different things. Uh, you will die a lot, but never use failure as an excuse to quit, love that. It's important to learn to play on your own so you don't get dependent on your teammates for help. Uh, if the situation arises, tip number five, he says, uh, play with players that are, uh, that are on your level or even better. I've been playing with uh, Jimbo, that's Jimbo D. Uh, he's also currently on the leaderboard. Uh, I believe he was ranked number three. Um, uh, he's said he's, he's been playing with Jimbo D since season eight, and we have learned and improved together as a team. Shout out to my teammate Jimbo D. He's also third on the duo leaderboards. He says, um, uh, and then of course make sure uh, I'll go ahead and plug it in the beginning, but of course make sure you guys go ahead and check out his channel. I will have that as the first link that you will see uh, down in the description box, as well as, of course, our channel sponsor for the month, which is Soundstripe. Make sure you guys go ahead and check out that link. Content creators, especially you, CT King, right? If you're making content like CT King is, and you really want to step up your game, step up to the next level, when you're looking, last thing you want to get on YouTube, or even Instagram, Twitter, I mean, anywhere at this point um, can demonetize and copyright strike you, right? Any of these social media platforms, make sure you guys go ahead and check them out with my link down in the description, as well as CT King's channel, King PUBG. Make sure you guys go ahead and check them out. Drop them a sub 
his most recent video, dive in the comment comment section. Let me know who sent you, you guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. It is, it is again, one of the more popular series on the channel. And I have full, full intentions on bringing it back. So I really hope you guys not only enjoyed all the tips and tricks, but especially the gameplay um, that was on display for you guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. But until the very next one, this has been Riggs for Briggs Gaming.